To understand it better is to go back to 2004, where Saskatchewan farmer Percy Schmeisser was taken to court by agrobiotech company Monsanto for illegal use of their patented genetically modified seed. The court actually ruled in favor of Monsanto that Percy Schmeisser did in fact use its seed but also ruled in favor that Mr. Schmeisser did not have to pay Monsanto its technology use fee. The point of knowing the importance of this story has to do with genetic patents. Fast forward to 2013, and the Supreme Court of the United States hears a case that rules on whether or not human genes can be patented. The court ruled that they cannot be patented because they are a product of nature. However, as is stated, they did allow that DNA manipulated in a lab is eligible to be patented because DNA sequences altered by humans are not found in nature. The court specifically mentioned the ability to patent a type of DNA known as complementary DNA. This synthetic DNA is produced from the molecule that serves as the instructions for making proteins called messenger RNA. This sounds quite familiar, doesn't it? In fact, it sounds exactly like the mRNA gene therapy vaccines which are stated to carry the instructions to make spike proteins, which is simply a diversionary way of telling the public that their intention is to create in the field of human biology complementary DNA, or cDNA for short. Thus, in a legal sense, it wouldn't matter to these companies if these products of industry being injected into people changed the natural formation of DNA in the people being injected with them. What is far more important from a business and legal patent standpoint is that there is now patented cDNA synthetic DNA being created and swimming inside of untold numbers of humans. cDNA which is owned by corporations which gives them grounds to claim ownership over wherever their gene therapy property exists. This puts them in a potential position to justify forced compliance upon those who carry their legally owned property. As it is said, possession is nine-tenths of the law, and the owner shall have their possession returned to them if taken or used. This manifests the true God complex that these power-hungry de facto rulers possess, while they push to create a society of the accepted whom they own through patent, and the blacklisted who stubbornly choose to remain free.